Hi there, Roberto here with Top One Marketing again with another tutorial video. In this tutorial video, we're going to show you um, how to create an overlay uh, for your live streams. In this case, I'm using StreamYard, but for you know the the, the, the purpose um, uh, of this tutorial video is um, how to create overlays, and so. Here I am in my StreamYard account, my test account, and I created an overlay. So you see the overlay I created, okay? Uh, let's, there's a background right there, okay? Let's just assume this is, uh, this is where a video, you know, the, the video and you'll see the camera right here and then the overlay right on top of it, okay? And you might have, a, you might need an overlay for whatever reason, just to make it look good, for information, whatever it is. And so you create a graphic. And so when we are in like Canva, we create a graphic um, and, but we end up with a, a, the, the, the area that needs to be cut out. There's an area where it's supposed to be the video area. Um, when we produce this graphic, um, it's, it's not gonna the way we designed this it's not going to come out transparent uh, because what we did was so I'll show you what I did so we pick a background so we picked this background here okay so that's a background and then um, we picked out a box so we picked a box so there's a box right there okay we spread it out you know wherever we needed it and then we select another box for like a little frame or whatever there's a lot of options here in canva okay um and then we selected another box to to create to create this this uh this box right here okay and so you could do you know however you know you would like to do it and then we put the text in there okay so we end up with this box right here um, when we download and we click transparent it's it, it's not going to come out transparent because this is a, a box right here okay so we need a way to um, cut this box out in order to um, you know make it an overlay so we can be able to overlay on top of it okay um, there's many ways to do this um, there's two ways that we do this one is we use a Mac and uh, we use the preview um, in the Mac the image preview in order to cut out this um, to cut out this box uh, we have a tutorial video in our channel um, showing you how to use the Mac to cut this area out um, in this tutorial video we're going to show you how to cut it out um, in a, a Photoshop alternative a free alternative and a browser based alternative called photo P and so you see we ended up with um, with uh, the image here and we have a cut out already okay so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take this image and we're gonna download it we already I've already downloaded it okay so we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop it right here um, if, if you don't know what this application is, it's called photop.com, photop.com, okay? Um, you can go here, it's a browser-based application. Um, it's, it's a replica, a limited replica of Photoshop, and it's browser-based. Anybody can use it, it's totally free. Okay, so I've taken the image and I've added it, I've dragged and dropped it right in here okay and it's real simple so all you got to do is go to this icon right here that's called the magic wand make sure you click it you know it's selected because it's the only one that is a darker color okay it's highlighted so you click on the magic wand you go right here to the area that you want to cut out and you just click right and you drag a little bit and it highlights that area right there and you just click delete and there you go the area is cut out Go to file, go to export as PNG or whatever file you can um, 
um, set your, your width and your height. We're using 1280, 720, and you click save. And then when you download it, then you can use it um, in software like StreamYard, where I've added it here, and I can use it as an overlay for my live stream, okay? So yeah, it's just like that. And it's an application called um, PhotoP, PhotoP.com, totally free, and it is browser-based. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this video was helpful. Um, if you liked it, give us a like, um, give us a share, um, and subscribe to our channel so that anytime we come up or upload one of these videos, you'll get notified. Thank you, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.